Wiggins, and you are now tuned in to Eye on Columbus. Today, I have a very special guest. I'm here with Miss Christy Holmes. Christy Holmes is the founder of the Aquila Society, and she's going to tell us more about why you should join. Christy, how are you? I'm good. How are you, girl? I'm great. So, Christy, I know that you have an organization that's very great. You're doing great things in the community. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the Aquila Society? Well, the Aquila Society started as a vision for me in 2015. Um, I worked at a group home here in Columbus over the summertime, and it really just opened my eyes to the deficits that kids in foster homes have. Um, you know, they, they aren't um, receiving some of the resources that they need to transition them into adulthood effectively. So um, that was the whole reason or the whole premise behind coming up with the Achilles Society. And then upon further research and digging deeper into my major, I'm a psychology major and also African American studies, I realized that there's also a deficit or um, also a disadvantage, a dis disproportion um, with the amount of black kids that are going into the foster care system. Black kids are five times more likely to be pushed into um, incarceration or um, out of their home. So that was the reason why this all sprouted, is to transition these kids out of that setting and into adulthood effectively. Wow, so you're doing really great things in the community. Yes. So I'm interested in being in the Achilles Society. How can I become a member? Um, you can become a member by coming to our monthly meetings. We have meetings the first Tuesday of every month at 6 p.m. You can go to our social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook to find out more details about where they will be at. Um, the locations do sometimes change because we have to do it based on availability for the Columbus libraries. Um, but we have, like I said, the meetings will be the first Tuesday of every month. You can come out, fill out an application. Membership dues are only $35. With those dues, you get a t-shirt, you get free or discounted admission into certain events. Um, and there's, you know, just a lot of little benefits that come along with being a member in addition to being able to give back to the community and um, support these youth here in Columbus. Great stuff, Christy. So for only $35, you can help your community. So with the Keeley Group, I know that you have something called Thriving 31. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about the Thriving 31? Yes, yeah, so the Thriving 31 basically came about because I realized there's so much potential in Columbus. There's so many influencers, so many entrepreneurs, so many people that are doing positive things, um, owning their own businesses. And I just feel like in order for us to thrive and become what we need to be as a community we have to get in the same room and begin talking to each other begin making connections begin networking and saying hey i'm in this field i'm in this field how can we partner and and do something bigger than what we're doing as individuals um i kind of feel like um, upon moving here it has been a little bit of an individualistic culture um here in columbus and i kind of want to get us together and thriving together and working together so that we can push these kids along and show them what greatness looks like show them what excellence looks like like. So Christy wants more collaboration, more teamwork from the city of Columbus. Yes. So Christy, now you gave a really startling, startling fact. Um, you said that Muskogee County has the second largest displaced mm -hmm. children. Yes, um, aside from Fulton County in Atlanta, um, Muskogee County has about 22 or 25. I'm um, a little waver on the numbers. It's above 20 group homes in the area as of right now, as of 2019. Um, and like I've said plenty of times before, there aren't very many transitional living or independent living facilities that are transitioning these kids out of foster care and into adulthood. So what, what we're doing is providing a di direct response to that. Um, like I said before, we need to get these kids into adulthood effectively. We need to teach them how to get a job how to get an apartment, how to get a car, how to get driver's license, um, how to feel confident about themselves. A lot of them have experienced traumatic things in their past, so how to deal with and you know develop coping skills for that um, so they don't end up back in jail or back into mental health facilities or even on the streets homeless. So you have a really big week coming up. It's Akili Week. Yes. Akili Week is in May. Can you tell us what's going to be taking place in Akili Week? Um, Akili Week is a series of events um, based around the founding of the organization. Um, we got incorporated on May 15th of 2018. So basically it's a celebration of, it's a celebration <laughs> of our um, founding and celebrating um, awareness for mental health, um, raising funds. We have a big gala. Um, we're celebrating black excellence. We're celebrating the kids that we're going to um, be sponsoring for our programs. 
um, and just kind of getting together and kick-starting um, our summer program. So that's basically what it's for, just to raise awareness, to raise funds, and to kick off our youth program. The Keeley Society is going to be doing some amazing things mm -hmm. in the Columbus community. Yes. So when is the next event, the next event that people can participate in, most importantly, donate to the Akili Society? Um, the next event will be our soiree. Our next soiree is in February um, the 15th, I believe, that Saturday. You can please check out our social media for updates if um, dates change. But it will be from about 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's a day party where we come out, like I said, network, get connected in the community, make connections, pass out business cards if you have a business. Um, things like that. So please, please, please come out, donate. All proceeds from that goes towards our youth program. Um, and just just come out and make those connections. And then also our next meeting will be February 4th at 6 p.m. as well. So if you want to just come out, receive information, become a member, donate, you, you are welcome to come out. We do have light refreshments. Um, so you'll have a good time and just kind of discuss and connect with the community. Okay, so I had the pleasure of attending some of the Achilles Society events and I can tell you that it is an amazing, an amazing organization and I encourage everyone to participate in the mm -hmm. Achilles Society. So if we want to follow the Achilles Society on social media, how can we do so? Um, right now we are on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow us at the Achilles Society on both. Um, you can also email us at the Achilles Society at the Achilles Society Org. Um, it's a bit confusing, but I will make sure I post that for you guys. Okay, and can you spell out Akili for the viewers? For yes, Akili is A K I L I, the Akili Society. A K I L I. So you heard it here first on Eye on Columbus. This is Miss Christy Holmes. She's doing amazing things in the community. And as always, we'll see you next time.